anyone who has PTSD, uh, no matter the root of your trauma, uh, I happen to be in treatment with a lot of veterans. And so I, I do have a special connection and bond with that demographic. But for anybody that was seeking treatment, um, because of the limited resources, the lack of time that I've talked about, we were not encouraged to process our trauma, which is like the worst thing that you can do for somebody with PTSD. It's like, oh, just shove that cork <laughs> and keep it locked down even more because we, I just can't open Pandora's box with you because we're not gonna be able to close it. And, you know, ultimately this is leading to suicide. This is leading to prescription abuse. This is, this is harming so many individuals and myself included. And ultimately this is the reason that I decided to leave treatment because I realized that this system was not going to allow me um, what I needed to, to process and to get better, which was disappointing. Um, but at the same time, it was the first time since this whole downward spiral uh, of truly living a nightmare where I realized like, I have faith in myself again. I trust myself more than the system. This is the first time that I had felt that since childhood. Um, and I had the courage and the confidence to, to leave and to seek, you know, a better life for myself because I believe that there would, had to be better options out there, but I had no idea what those were at all. So blindly, um, I graduated myself eventually from the program and it was shortly after that, that, you know, I, again, thank you to these Buddhist roots. I had been practicing yoga through this time. My yoga community uh, supported me as I left my treatment program. Uh, from there, I was introduced to a multitude of other holistic modalities, um, but specifically this technology, Lucia number three. And so it was through a uh, fellow yogi that we were actually gonna start a, uh, a CBD dog treat business together. And uh, the restrictions and all of that is very complicated. And so he was like, you know, I just completely out of the blue. Uh, it's like, I have this technology and I'm kind of trying to start a business. Would you be interested in working with me? I had no idea what I'm signing up for. I don't, I barely have my life together, right? Like I've, I've just graduated this program. Um, and I, and I experienced this technology and then I'm happy to, to pause <laughs> and elaborate, um, on, on really what this technology is. Um, but I experienced it for the first time. And while I had no idea what I was experiencing, I knew it was potent. I knew it was powerful and it was effective. And truly, you know, since like yoga meditation, I had not experienced anything that actually shifted me into any sort of, you know, effective state of healing. And, um, you know, the tools that I had received from the program were helpful, but at a certain point I had felt like I had plateaued and truly like the same week that I'm introduced to this technology, uh, the same person also basically starts uh, encouraging me to microdose. So for me personally, I, I had never considered bringing any medicine back into my life after just having detox off of all of these pharmaceuticals. Uh, it took a lot of convincing actually, but Michael Pollan's book, How to Change Your Mind, uh, came out again, like right at this time. And that was given to me and I'm like, all right, universe, you know, here's the validation of why this might be a good reason for, for me, for my PTSD, you know, it's, going into all the details of the efficacy of psychedelic science. And I really took that as kind of a sign. Um, come to find out that this technology that I had been exposed to 
is in itself a substance free psychedelic. And so I really, you know, all of a sudden, all signs are pointing to psychedelics in some form or another, um, which is interesting because prior to this whole near death experience, uh, I'm, I'm no stranger to psychedelics, but I didn't know the meaning of microdose. It was macrodose all the time, every time. Um, a much different perspective on what psychedelics were. Now, you know, truly my incentive is, is looking for effective tools for healing. And, um, and it was, you know, it, it turned out to, to be an opportunity that my brain needed uh, to, to open these neuroplastic states and have access to my consciousness in a way that I can really engage and therefore, you know, dictate or like reprogram my brain.